Sleep when you can play Dom Team Death, the free for all, CTF and sabotage. Man, I play them all from search up to headquarters, down the list of demolition objective to speak. To win is my only mission of a sin. It's not my own mission. Hey, YouTubers, what's up? This is Hardcore Gamer for Life, and I'm bringing you another Black Ops gameplay commentary. This one's going to be a dual quickie, and the first part of it is a chunk out of a sharpshooter on Stadium. That guy's not playing, so he's going to get wrecked with the China Lake. I'm having a good time with uh, these wager matches, guys. I'm actually doing my high rolling uh, wager matches with Hardcore Gamer for Life, uh, of which I've already done three uh, episodes of that. And uh, I occasionally like to bust into this Annie Up playlist too, just to warm up, you know. Uh, it's really helpful in that aspect because A, it doesn't count against your stats, and B, it, you know, it's just something a little different to blow off some steam. And that's honestly one reason why I don't understand why a lot of commentators have said they've gotten tired of Black Ops a lot quicker than Modern Warfare 2 because I found the opposite to be true. I found Black Ops to have a lot more staying power for me than Modern Warfare 2 uh, because I can hop into wager matches to blow off steam and work on my accuracy and not have to worry about stats which is kind of cool to have this game mode and you know having these game modes and stuff and you know having the different scoring conditions that kind of make you stick your neck out into the fray maybe more so than you know a lot of defensive players might in a regular pub match uh, it's absolutely kind of a necessary thing to uh, make that not affect the stats and uh, I think that was smart that way and honestly I would think more people should use these game modes uh, you know for times when they need to warm up a lot of people just ignore the wager match modes in uh, black ops and play pub matches and if you just do that I could see why this game would get tiring for you a lot quicker uh, but for me these game modes really add some spice to the game now I don't know about you guys, but I just love it when a more difficult weapon comes up in the game of sharpshooter, uh, because pretty much guarantee you that 90% uh, of the people out there, when one of those silenced pistol or an M14 or you know something like that comes up, pretty much the rest of the lobby is sitting there groaning, going, "Oh man, crappy weapon." Now if you have the good attitude of saying, "Hey, whatever, I'm not all that great shakes with this weapon," but everyone else in the lobby, odds are they're probably worse with it, so you know. Uh, it gives you a good chance because ever it's, uh, sharpshooter is such a level playing field. That's what I love about it. You know, gun game in a way it's level because everyone's got to work through the 20 tiers. But you know, you might get stuck down on a pistol for the early part of the game, which puts you at a serious dif disadvantage when people start getting an AK-74U or a FAMAS and stuff like that. And in sharpshooter, everyone always has the same weapon. So uh, I'd say out of the wager matches, it's the most balanced and level playing field that you're probably going to find. One in the chamber also is pretty balanced because everyone has the same weapon all the time. But as far as working on your gun skill, I find Sharpshooter to be a much better warm-up game. Because, uh, you know, you're going to be using a lot more different and varied guns rather than just a simple pistol. And uh, it really helps you work on your aim on a lot of different weapons. So I'm going to be switching up to the last weapon here in this particular round of Sharpshooter. And it's the FN Foul Master Key. Should have busted out some Master Key kills for you guys. But uh, I just ended up using the regular old government issue lead to finish this one out. And which I'm going to do. Now I'm always hoping to kind of get a cool finish. Uh, maybe get a kick-ass game winning kill cam. Which wouldn't have showed because I recorded this on theater mode anyways. Uh, but it doesn't end up working out that way. I just get some hit markers on that guy, head on in, and I'm going to take this guy out, patrol up the stairs here, kind of check this way out, don't see anyone at the moment. I'm going to head back down, and there's a little traffic jam down here once I get back, uh, but I failed to take advantage. And we're going to be moving on to the second half of our little quickie here. This one is another sharpshooter, but this time it's on firing range, and I was doing horrible up to this point. As you can see, I'm in fifth place out of six people, and we've got Mad Scotsman as the host. And, uh, you know, obviously that's someone from overseas, probably someone from Scotland, and he is a very crappy host. But I'm going to still go on a tear anyway. I don't care about no crappy host. I'm going to work my magic, baby, and move on up the scoreboard. But my kill streak, like all good things, must come to an end and it does right here now I'm using the single Kaparis here as I mentioned I've got a gameplay coming up very soon with dual Kaparis and I'm not sure whether I'm gonna do that as a live video commentary or if I'm gonna do some kind of act after the fact commentary with that uh, but that's gonna be my next free-for-all you can expect to see it won't be my next post uh, but my next free-for-all you can expect to see will be with dual Kaparis speaking of duels we got the dual Mac 11s here I do not like the dual Mac 11 
I can't really vibe with the dual PM63s either. Scorpions, I can use dual. Caparis, I actually found I like that the best dual now that I've used them a bit. But, uh, you know, duels just don't seem like they work nearly as well in this game as they did in Modern Warfare 2, I found. You know, back in Modern Warfare 2, steady aim was very, very noticeable. It was almost like aiming down sight. Whereas in Black Ops, I just don't feel like I have the range that I did with steady aim, uh, with duels in particular, that I did before. Uh, but at the same time, uh, steady aim is a very useful perk with duels. Particularly a sharpshooter, anytime you got duels and you can get up to that steady aim, that third kill streak, uh, then that's going to give you a lot better chance over the other people that haven't got up that far. And that's another thing that makes sharpshooter such an excellent warm up game. The fact that not only does it reward players for being, for being accurate with a lot of different variety of guns, but it also rewards players for keeping their kill streak alive by giving you perks and then double score. So, guys. I'm quickly wrapping up this double header. This final match of Sharpshooter on Firing Range is coming on to the last weapon here in just a few moments. And what do you know? It's going to be a silenced pistol. What was I talking about earlier, guys? When the silenced pistols or any other weapon like that comes up, people start groaning and their game goes down the toilet. So even if you're not the greatest with these weapons, if you just go ahead as I am here, stay cool, pick your shots, be accurate, take advantage you can make a nice comeback like this. So anyways guys, I want to thank you so much for viewing my videos. As always, please rate, comment, subscribe if you enjoy it and like what you see. And guys, this has been Hardcore Gamer for Life. About ready to go ahead and sign out, but before I do, I will let you guys know that I'm going to be doing back-to-back -back dual quickies like this. This is the first one, obviously, and the second one will be posted on this channel within a few hours of this one going up, so keep an eye out for that one. Peace out, guys. Have a great day. I made my way from UAVs to spy planes, Harriers to Blackbirds, PVR to file share. Keep it on the dial where you know that it's hot. Cause you know that on my channel, I upload a lot of videos of all different types of varieties, games.